Um, this is Freshwater Marsh Nature Preserve, yeah. and it was the first nature preserve dedicated in Delaware in 1982. And over the last 30 years, there's been a few changes in the in the marsh. It's gotten a little woodier. Uh, it's been invaded by a couple of uh, invasive plant species that are changing the plant community. And talking to Fish and Wildlife, uh, we talked about a new technique being experimented with called prescribed grazing. And this is only the, the second instance I know that we have river water buffalo being used in a prescribed grazing project in a marsh in the United States. This is a marsh restoration project uh, and we're trying not to use herbicides, we're using grazing. And the, the buffalo will help the structure of the marsh and the native plant species while consuming the invasive plants. In fact, they eat both, but there's more invasives here right now than natives. And the other thing is one of the invasive grasses, a grass called reed canary grass, creates an interlocking root zone, a system of rhizomes that's so compact, got a, such a tight weave, that it really takes over the marsh. The buffalo will not only eat the reed canary grass, their weight will break up that rhizome mat and turn it back into a marsh. Well, Oliver is Oliver Twist and Dodger is the Artful Dodger. Oliver was born first and uh, he and his mom didn't connect right away so I ended up bottle feeding him. And so that's why he was named Oliver because he was an orphan. So then when Dodger came along we figured we had, since their moms were Thelma and Louise, we had to name the boys something that would go together and so we named him Do the Artful Dodger. These boys were born last year. Oliver was born actually today, the 26th of June, and Dodger was born five weeks later on the 28th of July. They're not as selective as cows, so they could eat things that cows wouldn't normally eat and they would thrive where if cows ate that, they wouldn't necessarily uh, fare as well. They eat and they walk and they wallow, <laughs> all good things, um, and it'll help us in our uh, marsh restoration project here at Freshwater Marsh Nature Preserve.